What's going on guys, Coach Malik here, and today I just want to talk about meal prepping. The hardest thing about meal prepping is this. What's going on guys, Malik. welcome to the Coach Malik Show. My name is Malik Benin, and I am going to be your virtual coach. I'm going to give you the knowledge, the tips, and the advice to help you perform better in all aspects of your life. What's going on guys, Coach Malik here, and right now I'm cooking my dinner, I'm prepping food. Um, I've been doing this a little bit more recently, and I'm like, all right, why not film it? Yeah. Always wash the chicken before you put it in. Always wash the chicken. Mike LC. I done wasted enough of my time. I'm going to need that back. A little bit of salt here in my chicken. A little bit of salt here on my chicken. A little bit of salt here on my chicken. A little bit of salt here on my chicken. Be a like I had last week. I must stay because talk is cheap. I like Angela, Pamela, Sandra, and Rita. And as I continue, you know they're getting sweeter. So what can I do? What the hell that was? 90% of the time, I put only salt and pepper as my seasoning. Everyone asks, what seasoning do you use? 90% of the time, I just use salt and pepper. Um, you know, pink Himalayan salt, sure. It's going to be a little better for you. Maybe there's some better pepper out there for you. Um, but all in all, salt and pepper usually does the trick. Maybe I'll throw in a little garlic salt. You know, maybe I'll throw in a little garlic salt, but... Most of the time, it's just salt and pepper. All right, chicken is finishing up. The hardest thing about meal prepping is this. It's not the what to do, it's not what to eat. I think a lot of you guys actually know what's good to eat and what's not good to eat. All in all, the, the hardest thing for 99% of you is the preparation, is the preparation. And the biggest excuse I hear to the prep is, I don't know how to cook. I don't know what to buy at the grocery store. And me, myself, I'm the worst cook ever. I can't cook. I can cook some cereal, like that's my best thing. Literally what I do, and I, I wanted to share this with you, boil in a bag, rice, all right? Boil in a bag, rice. Uh, I get this, I think it's like, it's super cheap. I think it's like $1.99 or something like that for a bag of four or four bags. You just throw it in the boiler, 10 minutes later, grab it. The chicken I just cooked, George Foreman Grill, all right, I cooked four of those babies. So two of them are in there for tomorrow, and then two of them are in there for tonight. That took about four to set, like I think six to seven minutes maybe, not that long. And so what I wanna say is in 10 minutes of time, you can cook your dinner and your lunch for your meals for the next day without having to know how to cook. Don't let it bring you down if you don't know what to buy at the grocery store, if you don't know how to cook it. Instead, make it motivate you to research you know, how do I cook this food? How do I prep it, right? The hardest thing is just setting aside those 10 minutes, right? Those 15 minutes. So what I always recommend, if this is hard for you, if meal prep is hard for you, if doing a diet or not even a diet, just a lifestyle change of eating is hard for you, listen to me closely. Schedule it in your schedule, just like any other appointment. Schedule your cooking. All right, schedule your meal prep. And I guarantee you, you put those in those little slots, Monday, maybe Wednesday, Sunday, you're going to do it more, all right? Because then you'll feel bad not doing it because it's on the calendar. I really think that's going to help a lot of you guys with the meal prep. Again, it's not that hard. It took me 10 minutes. I boiled something and I threw something on the George Foreman grill. Like, that was super simple. And I have lunch and dinner, dinner tonight, lunch for tomorrow. So, if that did help you, hit the like button. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button with the notifications so you can be notified for future fitness videos, and I'll see you next video.